All right, we stand so a pretty only three good hits. chance. Yep. Uh, only three hits. We are saving on threes and we get a reroll. So let's see some good dice here. Oh my God, are you... Welcome to another episode of The Casual Report. I'm Pete. I'm Riggin. And today we're playing Map 6 Store. Yeah, and our mission is going to be B, secure, where you have to spend an action point to secure the point, and at the end of the turn, you'll score. All right, Pete, what are we bringing today? Uh, you know, I saw the trailer, and I'm oh, like, yeah. you know what? These guys have been gray for a while, and I pick up some paint, and I'm bringing in the Tyranids. And for my list, I'm bringing in a three Tyranids warrior. For my leader, he will have Bone Swords and Death Splitter. For my heavy gunner, he'll have Rending Claw, because I ran out of Bone Swords. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll point. have the Venom Cannon. And then for my Tyranid fighter, he'll have like all the bone swords. He has two bone swords and he has a bone sword and a whip. And then I have my gene sealer, which will be all equipped with the maw, which gives me plus two to hit and then three, three with splash. So it will give me lethal five. It is absolutely, it's basically a, a super bolt pistol. And uh, for my attack off, I'm bringing route, Robin Ransack and Headhunter. Um, the game plan is to literally go in and kill. Go in and kill. And mm -hmm. what are you bringing today? Uh, with the close range threat of the uh, Tyranids and how well they've been doing into the dark, I thought it'd be cool to bring the shotgun action of the exaction squad back you in. You know you can't arrest these guys, right? <laughs> no, unfortunately they have nine wounds and seven wounds is a threshold. It's just, I, I mean, don't, my, my handcuffs won't fit. I'm not even talking about that, I have four arms. So you only have like <laughs> two handcuffs. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be pretty awkward. Isn't it? It's like, I got him locked up and he still has his claws. Going into my list. So we are taking our leader. Uh, he is taking the Dominator Maul and Assault Shield this time. Uh, so he gets that double parry and strike first into melee, which oh. will be pretty interesting. It's your matchup. Uh, we are bringing a Castigator, a Churgant, a gunner with a grenade launcher. We are bringing a Malicator, a Marksman, a Revelatum, our Subductors 3, and lastly, a Vox Signifier. As for our equipment, uh, we are actually taking six Phosphor Lumens. This denies your rerolls. Which... Yeah, you don't like my Relentless <laughs> Rending on four fives? Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on. So taking out that Relentless, that's gonna be pretty nice. Uh, and then running into our TAC Ops, we are taking the classic security. We've got Central Control, Secure Center Line, and for this map, we are gonna be taking C's access point. All right, well, <laughs> so listen to turning point one. All right, here we go. Okay, rolling for attacker. Rolling, and rolling for defender. attacker, yep. Three, six. six. All right. Uh, well, it looks yep. like uh, I get to be um, an attacker. Defender. <laughs> <laughs> So let's get into scouting. All right. Are you picking you? the exact same thing yep. we always pick? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I want you to spend a CP to deny me. Oh yeah, you know, I yeah. thought about that. And then I also thought like, so you know what? I think we are gonna do that. I think we're deny gonna use- Deny me my dash. Long arm of the Emperor's Law. We are going to deny you your dash. No dash for me. So you're gonna do your dash. Uh, our leader is going to take the dash action and just line it a little bit up. I don't even get mine. <sighs> Ridiculous. Yeah but I get to decide who gets to go first. And looks like you get to go first. Hey, all right. So my Revelatum gets a free movement at the beginning of the game after the end of the initiative phase. So he's going to move up to this door. All right, so let's go into the strategy phase. You are going first. Do you want to spin on anything? I think, I think we're going to pass. Uh, I'll pass as well. Cool. Exciting. Exciting. <laughs> all right, so let's go into attack like 15 anything? minutes of deliberation. Uh, yes. Uh, we are going to reveal C's access point, And I think we are going to choose this access point um, on your half the board. At the end of the game, I basically have to control it and I'll score points. The end of the game? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, let's go into our firefight. Uh, we are going to open this door with our subjugator and then he is going to move up and line over here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna activate my gene sealer. He is gonna open the door and he will use his free dash and he will secure my objective. Nice. Uh, our medic is going to pop his Objective here, and he is just going to move and land up here. My Gene Stealer, um, he is going to use his free dash to the door, mm -hmm. open it, and then he is going to spend the rest of his movement and hide behind this pillar. Investigator number two is going to move up onto this objective. Pop it. I'm going to activate my leader, and I will spend a CP. And I'm going to use Will of the Hive Mind, and I will give him an additional APL. He is going to move dash to the point and he will catch it. Our sniper is actually going to move up to this door, and then he is going to open it for our friends. So I'm gonna activate my Tyranid Warrior Fighter. He is going to uh, use his movement. He'll end right here, and then he will 
Secure. Our Vox Signifier. Mm -hmm. He is going to give an additional APL to our Malicator. And then, and then he is going to move up and land next to his friends. So I'm gonna He's activate my Heavy Gunner. He is gonna go ahead and move and will actually be within one inch of the door. So uh, we are going to activate our Malicator. Uh, he has a free mission action. So he is going to free mission action, open this door, land on the objective, and then because he out APLs you uh, with his three APL, he is going to pop it back into our favor. Oh no. I'm gonna activate my Gene Stealer. Uh, he is going to go ahead and move to the door and open it. Uh, our leader is going to move up and onto the objective. He is going to place the Aquila. If you're okay. within three inches of that, it's gonna cost you an extra AP to do a mission action. And in terms of controlling objective markers, it is minus one APL. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna activate my Gene Stealer. Mm -hmm. He is going to move to this door, spend an APL to open. Okay. And then he is going to dash right and here. Our subjugator number three, uh, he is going to move up towards his friends. So I'm gonna activate my gene stealer. Um, he is going to move dash and be within six inch and I will splash myself. <laughs> um, yes. But I will shoot you. It's gonna be four dice, uh, hitting on twos. Lethal five. Lethal five. Four, four crits, here one. we go. I do got one, I get one. So, <laughs> so you do have your equipment that prevents me from my spending CP to yep. reroll. My phosphor So limit. it's just gonna be two crits, one hit. Two crits, one hit. And you save on fours? Saving on fours. Uh, yep, that's, yep, you're this done. is eight damage. Yep, okay, I did so, take two as well though. Oh no, damage. my leader is now to a <laughs> measly 17. So I'm out of activation. So unless you give me an overwatch, like right here, <laughs> uh, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> All right, whatever I want. Got Revelatum. He is going to move action, land on the objective, and cap it for our team. Uh, and then, very last but not least, uh, our gunner is just going to wiggle and chill in the back over here. So, scoring. Uh, I score one, score two, and you score one, two, three, four. That'll do it. All right, and let's send it to the recap table. So that was turning point one, and I think we've been here before where I set up the tsunami play, uh -huh. give up all my points, and I'm just like, give me initiative. <laughs> Turn, turning point two initiative, so spicy in every game it feels like. Um, but I do I do like my setup right now. I've got four points. Um, I don't expect you killed my model, so that's gonna fall to you next turn. Yeah. Um, but hopefully I can ride that wave. Uh, and in the center, I have my Quilla. Uh, I've got my attack ops coming up, um, so hopefully I'll be able to secure the center. Uh -huh. um, so I'm feeling pretty excited about that. It's going to take you two AP to get that point back. You're a little too clump for, I think, if I was in your position, I would be a little uh, scared because um, I'm actually happy that you didn't close the door in objective room number four. I have to be scared about that. Yeah, because I could just free move and then go in and try to snipe one of your guys. Mm -hmm. Or I could just move up to this terrible hallway. The last time we play, I hate it so much. <laughs> this time I like it a little bit more because you're kind of clumped up in. Mm -hmm. um, I can use the free move, get to the door, open the door, and then I can just shoot, get some splash out and charge your leader. And what you don't know is I have headhunter, so <laughs> I can actually get two points, which is super nice. Uh, yeah, your team is pretty insane with that. We talk about how mobility is really strong in Into the Dark. Um, and being able to move, free move any model, give it three APL if you want to. Uh, and then you've got that insane acid mod and insane melee. Your, your kill potential is pretty much right above 70% at any yeah, time. Yeah, um, as a Corsair player, I they, they play almost exactly the same. They uh -huh. hit hard, they move fast. Actually, if this was a Scooby-Doo movie, <laughs> you would pull out the Tyranid and it would just be my Corsairs. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but uh, that was turning point one. There's not really much. Uh, you really need this initiative mm -hmm. and pretty much is to deny me from getting initiative. Yeah. Because that would actually force me to not use the free move. Mm -hmm. There's no point in me doing that. Um, but let's go into turning point two. I'm Brent. All right, uh, rolling for initiative. All we kind of right. need this one. This one's gonna be a big one because yeah. if, right. if I get it, it's pretty free. free. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going first and I'm gonna use Skulk, which gives me a free move. Mm -hmm. uh, if I am in conceal and three inch away from your guys and distance, do not measure through walls. That's so true. I'm gonna move to this door here. All right, very cool. Uh, I'm going to follow it up because my danger sense is tingling. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to use Invalid Jurisdiction. Uh, gives us uh, reroll defense dice so long as we're on objective marker. 
Okay. And uh, a pass. You're gonna pass? All right. So we are gonna keep the train rolling and we're gonna use um, Dispense Justice. If I move less than my movement characteristic during an activation, including yours, which I don't move during your turn, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> uh, I get a reroll in melee. Okay. And I'll pass again. Pass again. And last but not least. It's uh, turn two, okay? You don't need to spend everything. <laughs> we, what are you talking about? There's no better turn. Uh, we are going to use Terminal Decree, which will give us rerolls on shooting as long as we're within four inches of you. Okay. It's the kind of a now or never, huh? It's the now or never. <laughs> yep. I feel not, like we've been here before when we played the Corsair versus the Croots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll pass and we'll go to Tac Ops. I'm gonna reveal Route. Uh, if I kill you while I am within six inch of your deployment, mm. I will get a VP and if I do it again, I get another one. I'm going to reveal Secure Central Line. I'll pass. And lastly, Central Control. You really like the center, huh? Oh well, yeah, we're going. <laughs> That's why we're here. We're fighting here. That's what we're doing. Uh, okay, so let's go into the firefight. All right. I will activate my gene stealer. I will spend a CP to use Will of the Hive Mind, mm -hmm. and he is within six inch of a Hive Mind synapse, so I can give him an extra APL. Very cool. Which bounces into three. So I'm gonna use my first one to open, and I will shoot your leader. Hopefully, no ones. I like. I'm okay with some ones. No, 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 no. no rerolls. So. No rerolls. Got that phosphy. Hey. No. All right. All right. We stand so a pretty only three good hits. chance. Yep. Uh, only three hits. We are saving on threes, and we get a reroll. So let's see some good dice here. Oh my god. Are you serious, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're like no crits and a one. Looking good. Son of a bitch. I mean, all right. Well, you do get a reroll. We get a reroll. Here we go. Yes. You are seeing three ones. <laughs> uh, do you want to spend a CP? You actually have to if you want them to survive, right? Uh, Mid-match, I think we are going to pull a fast one and retire these red dice. <laughs> oh no! And switch over to blue dice. Command point reroll. There, there we is. go. He's alive. That's good. <laughs> I think. All right. Let's hope that proves to be a, uh, a tactically sound decision. This is looking bad for you, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, but I will have to charge you and tie you up in melee. Okay. Uh, we are going to activate our Castigator. He is going to take a shot on your Gene Steal over there. Okay. So we got four dice hitting on threes and we do get a reroll. Bam. All right. New and improve, you say. Eh, all right, three hits. That's pretty good. Damage uh, for four. Four, four, that's very scary. I save on fives. Save one. One save. Uh, that so. is going to be eight damage. It's going to bring you down to one wound. One wound. Uh, <coughs> so we are going to do a bit of a body blocking strat. We are going to throw our Castigator up with a charge action. So I'm going to activate my Gene Stealer. He's going to go ahead and change to engage. And he will charge your leader. Uh, is he going to fight? And yep, going to fight. So I just need to hit one. Okay. Hit I, am using, I am using the defensive stat. So I get to be the attacker in this scenario. Uh, and I hit on fours because I'm wounded. And this is rending, so it's two crits. Uh, you get two crits, cool. And, and two hits. I get a reroll. Uh, no, that's fine. So all we're going to do is strike for four. And I will be at five and I will kill your guy. Duh. I will spend a CP to change his order to conceal. Mm. Okay, so when I kill your leader, I will reveal Headhunter. Uh, if I kill your leader, I get one VP, and if I kill it um, before turn two, I get two. Turn three, but yes. Our subjugator is going to move up to this door and pass. So I'm gonna activate my gene stealer. He is going to move dash to this door. And I'll pass. Our subjugator, move up, and land against the door there. Uh, <laughs> the gene stealer is going to move dash, open the door, and he'll land right here. We are going to activate our subjugator. Uh, he is going to continue this clusterfuck mid. Uh, we are going to swerve past the engagement of your first gene stealer and land here. So I'm gonna activate my warrior fighter. He is going to move dash and be concealed. We are going to take our medic. He is going to move out a little bit, but still be on the point. Uh, and then he is actually going to go on guard. 
my leader. He is going to loop the point and he is going to move here. So um, actually what we're gonna do at the end of your movement, uh, we are actually going to take our on guard action with our medic. Okay. Um, take a shot at the gene stealer here. Unfortunately, we are shooting through our castigator with an engage order, so mm -hmm. that's not gonna happen. But mm -hmm. uh, three dice sitting on threes, here we go. We do get a reroll. Uh, we do get a reroll. That's a crit. That's two crits, that's respectable. Okay, so I'll retain one, and then I save on fives. I got a crit save. That's not uh, enough. It's not enough, nope. Uh, you're gonna take that damage, and, and... we're gonna kill that model. Uh, now that it's my turn, Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to activate our Revelatum. Okay. Uh, we're going to touch bases with our buddy here. Okay. Um, and now we are going to throw that crack grenade unimpeded. Uh, and we are targeting your little gene stealer. Okay. Here we go. Four dice sitting on threes. Bam. Uh, and we do get a reroll. That's pretty hot. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, it's AP one, but you got your invuln save. So yep. Saving so on fives. Save on five. Uh, one save. One save. That's a, uh, that's a kill. Damage. I'm gonna activate my gene stealer. He is gonna move to the door and he is gonna target your sniper. Okay. Uh, it is gonna be at three hits because I'm shooting through one of your guys. That's correct. It's still hit on twos. So I haven't rolled, I have not not rolled a one yet. So <laughs> we'll see. Uh, uh, all right, three hits. So three hits. Uh, saving on no splash. Bam. Uh oh. No saves. I'm rolling the wrong dice. Yeah. Gosh. You retired those. See? See, see what happens? <sighs> So, uh, six damage goes through. Six damage goes through, that puts him at one wound. Use my dash, and we're gonna dash out of, get out of dodge. Our gunner is going to move, and he's just gonna pop his head out and go on guard for fun. Okay. Yes. All right, uh, heavy gunner is gonna go. He is going to use his three movement and be here. And we will go ahead and shoot the shield. So, um, shooting you, uh, hits on four. Ooh. So only two hits. Two hits, we like it. Uh, we are going to retain from cover and roll the other two. Uh, yes. <laughs> I will spend a CP. Since I didn't do any oh, damage. Nerd. I get to shoot again. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, use aggressive bio strain. Okay. Since I didn't do any damage, I get to shoot again. I'll do it again. Uh, three well, hits. Three hits this time. That's that's decent. Uh, once again, we retain from cover and saving on a three. <gasps> yes! CP well spent! What's the damage? Uh, five, six, so, five, six, so he's you, dead. you're dead. We're gonna activate our Vox Signifier. He is going to spend an AP to give an additional APL to my sniper. Uh huh. And then he is going to move out and land over here. It is gonna be my go, and I will get an overwatch. So the death splitter hits on three, five shots. So it will be four this time, because it is overwatch. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> For our final activation, our marksman is actually going to take a dash action and land up here. And we are going to use take aim to achieve the balanced special roll. And then we are going to target your gene stealer. Okay. Here we go, hitting on fours because we are injured. Uh, here we go, come on. Oh, I saw that six for a second there. So hit on four still, so. Oh shit, that's not that great. Yeah, so two hits. <laughs> two hits. Uh, well, save on fives. One save. One, one hit. Okay, uh, how much damage? Four damage. Oh, I'm not injured. We're at four. Five, we're at five, because you, you deal four. Okay, so um, scoring, I score one, score two, score three, and I score two from uh, Headhunter. Two from Headhunter, yeah. I do not score any of my secondaries, but I still do scores three on the secondaries. Hey guys, welcome to the middle of the match. I hope you've been enjoying the content so far. If you like what you're seeing, really appreciate it if you drop a like and hit that subscribe button. So there was a lot reveal at Adepticon. Um, so let us know in the comment below what you guys are excited about the most. All right, so that was a pretty spicy turning point too. Uh, because you want an initiative, you could use stock without, like, with reckless disregard. You don't have to care about me. I told you about the tsunami <laughs> play, man. I just give away two points, and I'm just like, it's about to hit, and it, man, it hit. And I don't think you realize that I took Headhunter. And mm -hmm. these guys, the only one that I can, like, I'm like, I don't feel bad because 
the chance of me getting it mm -hmm. is actually reasonable. You could basically be turn two all the way across the map if you wanted to. Yeah, like like if I really wanted to and I wanted to build the flash uh, warrior, I could. I could give him the plus one movement, which uh -huh. would mean 10 inch on the charge, seven inch on the move. That's a 17 inch charge range. <laughs> Uh, but we did have a pretty interesting play. I love, uh, with these guys, you can go on guard and you can leave that on guard action to basically hold your gun at threat to anybody who's been charged. Uh, and I was saving that and I used it right at the end of your activation. Mm -hmm. uh, so I popped your nid, freed up my model, and I was able to further uh, go on a killing spree. Yeah, without me being able to respond. Yeah, because zero you, response Yeah, because usually if you were to kill my nids, then I would have been able to respond with the model just being out in the open. Yeah, because I was, I was like, you got your heavy gun right there. I don't want to give you a chance. Because yeah. uh, as soon as I break engagement, mm -hmm. that's the scary thing about this team, yep. is once that engaged model dies, you're out in the open. Also, uh, you know, um, Gene Sealer doing work super great. But I have whipped so many guns. I'm so glad the Tyranids have the ability to just be like, hey, you miss everything, do over. Aggressive bias. Yeah, <laughs> we'll just shoot again because I miss with my leader with the Overwatch, and my heavy gunner missed his first shot, and he was able to send a CP and actually killed a guy. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I was, I was so sad about that because I had to spend all my command points. Mm -hmm. um, I had to spend my last command point to save my leader. Yeah, um, and that means I wasn't able to exact vengeance. Oh yeah, how are you not gonna mention the, the three one zero? <laughs> that was oh. Man. Oh, that, that, that was instant dice change. We're done. <laughs> we're done with the red dice. Red dice. Yeah. They've dropped. Yeah, you're just like, these blue ones looking pretty good. <laughs> yep. But um, how are you feeling going into turning point three? Um, things are looking a little rough, but we are, like, your, your gene stealers are dropping. There, there's a second wave, though. Yeah. There was another setup where I just move up to this door, and if I get to go first again, I'm just going to free move, and same story. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so uh, let's turn it to turning point three. Three, yep. Okay, rolling for initiative, All and right. this one... Oh, it's important. So, 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 you're... Not as big as turning point two. I got the blue dot Three. coming in. Six. Hey, all right. You wanna go first? Well, now I have to think about what I wanna do. I'm gonna go first. Go into strategic place. Yep. Uh, okay, and so we are gonna use terminal decree and get rerolls within four inches. Okay, uh, I will pass. You're gonna pass? Cool. Uh, I will pass as well, and that'll bring us to the turn. Uh, we are going to activate our castigator. Uh, he is going to move up and land within four inches of your nid over there, the uh -huh. gene stealer. Uh -huh. uh, and we are going to unleash combat shotgun. Four dice hitting on threes with a re-roll. It's not bad. Get a re -roll. With a re-roll. Hey! All hits. Okay. Two saves. Well, it's still a kill. What's the damage? Uh, four, four. Four fours? Yeah, that would, that would do it. Yeah. I'm gonna activate my gene stealer. I'm gonna spend a CP to give him an APL. Yes. And then I will charge your medic. I finally get to use my relentless. <laughs> Hit on three. Yep. Uh, four five rending. You're gonna need it. Well, I don't need. I don't get to use my relentless. So they all hit. All right. Uh, three dice combat baton. Let's go. Hitting on. Four, Look at that. It? Hey, that's uh, hot. Well, I'm gonna hit you for four. You're gonna hit me for four. I'm gonna crit you. Four. For three. And I will hit you for four again. Take me out. Very cool. And I am at five. Okay, now that I kill your medic, I will go ahead and shoot your guy that's next to my warrior. Four shots, hitting on twos. Uh, that is a, I took two splash. <laughs> uh, saving on fours, here we go. Uh, one crit save, I think that's dead. That is a dead boy. Uh, we are going to activate our marksman. He is going to take a shot at your gene stealer. Okay. Uh, four dice hit on fours. Bam. Mm -hmm. uh, here comes the reroll. Uh, all right. Ooh, so that take... might be. A... I don't that. think I can save it. No. So he is dead. All right. Uh, so with our final APL, uh, we are going to move up and onto the point. So I'm going to go ahead and activate my leader. He is going to go ahead and charge. Yeah. Uh, hit on two. Uh, lethal five. Four dex. And as Ooh. I. Not the dice tree, it's gone for good. Well, that's hey. one. So, but that is enough. Okay, we'll see how much damage you can get back to me, I guess. Uh, three and threes. So I'll hit you for four. Uh, we crit. Take uh, one out. What's the four damage? Four damage. Four damage? Yeah. So I will be at 13. And I will score my route, and I will reveal Rob and Ransack. 
Uh, we are going to activate our subjugator. He is going to open this door. Our subjugator is going to charge both of your models. Uh -huh. And that's his turn. I will activate my gene stealer. Hits on two, four dice. Ready? Hitting on fours. Oh no. Oh, oh, jeez. Well, then we can hit you for four. <laughs> <laughs> and I will kill you. Yep. He is off the board. Acid Maw. Saving on threes, here we go. Hey. Uh, that puts me down to two wins. So we are going to double charge your models. Oh, man. And we are going to fight your genie boy. Okay. And if we get one hit, he's done for. All right. One hit, I believe. Hey. There we go. Blue dice, baby. Blue, blue dice. I'm gonna melee you. Okay, so hits on three uh, with the talon, uh, four attacks. Maybe I whiffed? I don't whiff. Uh, nope. Um, <laughs> it's not gonna. I don't think it matters because I will be able to. I don't actually, I strike first, so I'm gonna hit you for four. <laughs> <laughs> and I will kill you off. And I'll be at 11. Cool. I'm, I'm gonna traverse and then just be on this point. Yeah. Uh, so we are going to activate our box signifier. He is going to move up and to this door, and then he is going to give an extra APL to my gunner. I'm gonna activate my warrior. It's gonna take two APL because of your little fart cloud, and um, I will take control of this point. I'm going oh, to no, move to land on the point, and I am in control of this point, not only do, uh, with my bonus APL, um, and you are actually minus one due to my Quilla. Mm -hmm. So my five to your three, uh, and we're gonna take it back for our team. All right, so looking at the board state, uh, I do think I need to concede here. Um, I'm simply too far behind on my secondaries to possibly catch up. And even though it's still a three to three match, six APL, uh, uh, I don't think I can take you in yeah. one-on-one trades anymore. I think I have a total of 15 here and one of my warrior has 16 wounds, so it's a little difficult. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, um, cool. let's send it to the recap table. Yeah. So that was turning point three. And I'm gonna be honest, it was looking really doom. And <laughs> yeah, I think it, that's exactly what happened. Even though you got the first. Uh, you yeah, the first. it was kind of a, no coming back at that point. Yeah, like with, with the two like set up where either this door, this door really <laughs> makes it hard for you. There, there was a point in that game where my model was within range to close it. Yeah. And I strongly considered it. I was <laughs> like, hmm. But then I was like, eh, you're probably not gonna use that door. Uh, and then lo and behold, it became a threat in my ass. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> the reason why that door was so bad is because where my Tyranid is at, essentially he can give three APL mm -hmm. <laughs> and I can either move, charge, kill, or I can move, charge, kill here. Yep. So even though he was able to go first, there was just no right answer because he either, he's gonna lose two models either way. Kind of one of your mindsets is if you can help it, you only wanna give your opponent like one option when yeah. the initiative rolls happens. Because if, you, if your opponent has two options when the initiative roll happens, yeah. you can give your fallback, right? Yep. Conversely, you wanna do the opposite. You yeah. wanna have, you wanna have two options when uh, you fail initiative. What do you think about the the cop boys? I am I have mixed feelings about them. Uh -huh. um, I think they feel fun. Uh -huh. I think they feel a little bit below the pack in terms yeah. of strength. Um, I've been thinking about like, I, I almost want to give them just a small buff. Uh -huh. And I've been thinking about what that could possibly be. Um, several things hit my mind. Yeah. Um, I could consider plus one to the critical damage. Cause when they crit, it's still four four. It doesn't feel good to get crits. Uh, and that would pump them up for a lot of damage profiles, especially against the eight wound models. Mm -hmm. um, because being able to injure on one crit uh, would, would pop that threshold. Uh -huh. uh, a couple of other things, they're really lacking in AP. Mm -hmm. So like against elite teams, they suffer. Um, they suffer against um, Overwatch, uh, like teams with good Overwatch, especially Intercession. Uh -huh. It's so difficult to punish that. Uh, you'll just like attempt to run into a room, be like, I'm gonna charge you or I'm gonna shoot you. And then the Intercessor goes, nope. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna be honest, their play style just feels so bad with like security and like seek and destroy. Because like if you're already winning, security and seek and destroy is fine with uh -huh. them, but they're so squishy that I feel like in like in a matchup like this, it's like, what are you gonna try to secure the center line? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna delete you. Like, imagine if they have recon. Oh, yeah, recon. So good. I actually think recon would be a really interesting archetype for them because they're like they're cops. They want to like breach and clear. Mm -hmm. Um, and so if they're breaching and clearing, that's that's recony. Yeah. 
Apparently the dog can't pick up though, so I don't know. You just have a trash dog. <laughs> oh, whatever. You don't need to pick up the uh, recover item just, yet. Just stand next to it. It's like, <laughs> I know you can't fetch. Just you know, stay over there. Uh -huh. Give me some points. Because like, because Akira's explore room, you can do that. You're a breacher. You're, you're, you're breaching in with your little shield. Mm -hmm. Makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, um, I think it was a good game regardless. I had fun. Yeah, I had fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it, shooting, it was shooting those shotguns. Like the shotguns are fun. Hitting on threes. It was just a little weird with the tiered warrior because they're just like, I'm pretty sure I splashed myself more than I splashed you, by the way. <laughs> you did more splash yeah. damage yourself, that's like, for sure. I was like, I'll take the two, it's fine. I'm at 17. <laughs> I'll take the two, I'm at 16. <laughs> I'll count it as a win. Yeah, I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll still be able to take a shotgun to my face. <laughs> uh. So guys, if you want to see more content, uh, <laughs> click over here. Cool. <laughs>